got everything from news headlines, special reports and even a surprise celebrity appearance. And here's what's coming up. Students put on an amazing show for SWS Got Talent. An expert to star Giles Potter joined the panel of judges. We investigate the good work our students do with the children from the local primary schools. We found out what people think is so special about our school. So everyone knows Britain's Got Talent shown all over the country to millions every Saturday night. So let's go to the theatre where we hosted our own version. Uh, I love doing SWS Got Talent. It's one of my favourite parts of the job. I love working with a group of year 11 who are obviously fundraising for their own prom and also to look at all the different talent that we've got at SWS. Hi, I'm opportunities that this school give here is fantastic and everyone who you know thinks that they can be a performer or wants to be a performer should really go for things like this and I'm feeling very excited it's gonna be good fun I'm gonna enjoy myself I think. Yes, everyone is the best in this year everyone is up there really high really high level so you know how it will be it will be. Lots of people are coming in and we're all nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> but here goes. The winner of the 2016 SMS Hasbot Talent is... Ellie Mazikas! It was amazing, like before I went on I was so nervous and like I couldn't help but sit there and be like I can't do this. But then once you get up there, you just find, you just forget all about it and you just get really confident. I think the quality of the acts of the show this year has been amazing. It's been really lovely to see people who I've seen performing over the years mature and produce some fantastic performances. It was an altogether good night, yeah. It made really set out. I, I enjoyed it. It was worth the two pounds, definitely. Yeah. In this school, we do a lot of work with primary school children, and that's not just because they're cute. It's actually really important community work. Here's our special report. Being at the heart of the community, SWS feel that our students benefit from working with younger students where they can act as peer mentors. We have a team of um, Year 9 leadership pupils that have come over and worked extensively with our Year 1s. Um, they've been a great help to me. A lot of what I teach is very practical, very interactive and a lot of the times they're, they're experiences that children are having for the very first time such as working on the garden, sewing, things like that and without having a, the team of helpers I'd find that really difficult. I like it because it helps us with our learning. They're just really positive to be around, it's like they just always seem happy, always seem glad to work with us. The best thing we've learned is growing and sewing because the sewing is good and it's good to learn. It enables us to really push the boundaries and, and give our children opportunities that we wouldn't normally be able to do. It's nice for the schools to, to link up and it's nice for us to be able to see our ex-pupils uh, coming back and visiting. That's always, always a pleasure to see them. We have students that come into our school from year three to year six to work in a number of different curriculum areas such as technology, graphics, 
food and computing, which is a subject that the primary schools are very keen for us to work on together. And our students have been working alongside our primary students on a very exciting project on The Lion King, where they've been rehearsing and performing together. So when I first started primary school, I was worried about going into high school because of all your DSGs. But because now we're doing more work with high schools, I'm starting to get more confident that everything will go well. Big. Um, it's just amazing. I love all the artwork and yeah. So, what do you love about SWS? This is why we find SWS special. started using our new reward system. The SIM system allows teachers to give students an attitude to learning score based on their behaviour in the lesson. Year 7 and 8 elite students are currently taking part in a 10 week qualification. This includes forensic science and fingerprint analysis. Year 10 students recently went on a trip to Delamere Forest to complete an orienteering course as part of their GCSE. International skateboarder Neil Dans came into school to work with our Year 10 students. He worked with them on motivational and teamwork skills. Year 7 and 8 students recently took part in an enterprise event. They raised £126 for prostate cancer by having a bake sale and a wear something blue day. I'm wishing luck to our Year 11 students. Currently 175 of them are completing their exams and preparing for their future. Finally, in our house competitions, Webb are currently in the lead. However, it's still anyone's game. Hello and welcome to the Weather Wind Up. Over this term, the weather has been very pleasant. Many lovely hot days have fallen on this school, especially at the Year 10 orienteering trip, with scorching hot weathers reaching a maximum of 24 degrees. However, we may have had some hot sunny spells, but we have also had some rainy showers. But rainy showers is an understatement. When I say that, I really mean flash floods. Let's just hope that these rainy days will not fall on our school sports day or our school saver dad race because they are really important key features of this school and we wish the best for everyone competing in them. That's it from me and let sunny spells bring brightness to your day. We've come to the end of our first ever episode of SWS TV. We hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as we've enjoyed making it. Tune in next time for more about life at SWS. Have a great summer. Goodbye. Bye.